The trailer for a new horror film called Karen was just released with mixed reviews online. The title and plot are taken from a pejorative term Karen for an entitled and privileged white woman. The film's trailer has received criticism due to its similarity to Jordan Peele's Get Out and the seemingly never-ending trend of movies that focus on black trauma. Many thought of the movie copied Jordan Peele's aesthetic and tone, but missed the mark on its social nuances and commentary. Today on the show, we have our comedy hype analyst, Capone and Pierre, along with very special guest, Vanessa Fraction, to talk about the backlash Karen has received. But first, let's take a look. I guess this is a long way from East Point. Baby, you just gotta give it a chance. Tell me about your new neighbors. They're black. Do you mind keeping it down? If you don't comply, I'll tell the manager. Somebody's taking home security serious. Hi! I am Karen Drexler. I'm your neighbor. You need to be taking your trash cans off the curb right when the trash is picked up. Is she nice? Yeah, she's nice. Wait a minute. We have a white entitled neighbor named Karen. Karen. Okay, enjoy yourself. There she is, slaving away in the kitchen. I've come across some very suspecting teenagers. Suspecting? Can you please hurry up? Please, it's, they're very, very aggressive, yep. I left my wallet with my ID at home. Leave us alone, we didn't do anything! How the heck did you end up moving to this neighborhood? Next thing you know, we have criminals. You take care of him, and I will take care of her. Would you mind stepping out of the car? My office has uncovered some disturbing information on her and her brother. She doesn't like black people. We have a search warrant. Well, I'm black. I know, she doesn't like you either. I want to sell the house. What I do? You can't tell me, huh? We are living next door to a racist. You went in her house? You wouldn't want your wife to know our little secret, right? It's not standard police procedure back there. What do we have here? We well, got a hammer. Everything looks like nails. You people are very angry. Shut your mouth, boy. <laughs> Bad things happen to people that don't comply. about y'all but that was quite the trailer um i want to start with you pierre what is your initial reaction on that trailer i mean it looked like it took a lot of stereotypical situations that we see every day on youtube or, or social media and uh try to put it into one little bunch and make a movie of it it, it just it just there's nothing new here and like i said like you said it sounds like a jordan peele movie and it just kind of has I mean, when Jordan Peele had Get Out, it was a different time, a different movement. It just, it feels, it feels like something I've seen all day long on social media. So, you know, I, I applaud them for trying to, re to, to talk about it. But right. what's the end result? I didn't see any twists or any turns or nothing in that movie to say, oh, man, I want to see that thing. It's just like a lot of stuff I already see online. So a lot of stereotypical, mo you know, movements and situations to me. Right. What, what are your... What was your natural reaction to it? Your my reaction? natural reaction? Yeah. I started laughing my ass off, man. I don't, I don't, and I felt so bad about it because it's a real situation. You know what I mean? Like Karens exist and everything. And I was trying to analyze this morning, even in the shower, like, why are you giggling? <laughs> I'm just like, I don't know. Like, cause it's real, but it's like, I'm down for the villain white woman. You know what I mean? Because for so long, in a sense, you villainize black people, just regular everyday black folks. We always the gangsters, we the bad neighbors, we the drug dealers and the whores and the crack mamas and the, you know what I'm saying? And, and all those are real, real people, you know right. what I'm saying? But that doesn't depict us as a, you know, as, as a, a group. So, yeah. so go ahead and, 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 and zone in on this one particular horror style, you know, Karen type situation. Yeah. It's like Jason, man, like it's real. Somebody could come and murder you and Karen could live next door. You know what I mean? That's like nice, yeah. for me, I wasn't, I've seen plenty of stuff that traumatizes me and I'd be like, not again, Lord have murder. And like, and really, I just don't want to see it. And I don't know if I'm watching this either, but I just wasn't mm -hmm. triggered. Like I wasn't pissed or nothing. I right. was more like, like I'm down for the, you know, Karen part two and Karen goes to the moon, right. like one of the comments has said, like, you know. And I think we'll, we'll, we'll dive into it. Yeah. I think a lot of people mm -hmm. kind of were triggered by it, but before we get into mm -hmm. it, Capone, what was your initial reaction? Um, why is she still living? Why are these white people who uh, supposedly 
traumatize us and do all these things for us, still live next door and be able to do the things that they do. I mean, from where I'm from, if you have those kind of problems, you deal with them in a very, very different way. And I think that Karen should have been dealt with earlier. Earlier, earlier. yeah, exactly. It shouldn't have been Karen. Karen was or something like that. (laughs) So she shouldn't, she shouldn't have lived long no, enough. No, yeah, no. She, she, she should. It should have been a reverse, you know, reverse role. Right. Of black see, people. See, see, we see, well, you know what? I'm sorry to cut you off. Mm-hmm. Finish up, Capone. No, that, no, no, just, no, go ahead. Like, go ahead, finish you. Oh, the only cut off I was going to say is I feel you. Because at first I was going to say we didn't see the end, so we really don't know. You know, they No, but it shouldn't have been no end. It should have been you. in the and beginning. because the part where she was crying and was kind of on the like, I think we're going to move. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what? I ain't going to Saved up all your money for all this house. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I would boy carrying the house up from the outside. You know, a lot of and a lot of people are just saying like they feel like it's triggering. They're talking about black trauma. They're, you know, benefiting off of us. So I'll start with you. Why do you think so many people are upset? Because well this this one said they went from laughing to Right. And I I just want to say BET be putting out stuff. Y'all was all for it when they were doing the new edition movie and the, and the this and the that. So don't go shitting on BET now. It ain't. It isn't that. And, and you might be one of those same people that I saw plenty of memes circulating. I saw plenty of skits that people did about Karens and things like that. And everyone was happy to give them plenty of uh, uh, re, right. reposts and all that type of thing. And all of this person did, or all you know, Coke Daniels did was extend what's been go- the conversation that's been going on and did it in a way of like this could get you know like in a horror sense i think right. that maybe took some of some of the bite off of it because you're saying this is some horrific shit stuff that's going down you know what i'm saying like you calling the police on folks folks going to jail you ruining their home life this is horror you right. know what I'm saying? Right. and i'm gonna like exaggerate it to a sense we dramatize a lot of trauma, murder. Sometimes I got to cut law and order off, Chad. It'd be too much rape. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of things are triggering. You know what I mean? And so I understand why people are upset because right now everybody's kind of jumping on that trend of, you know, black trauma kind of thing. But they're taking things that happen in real life. Doom, 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 doom. Pierre, I want to get your opinion. Why do you think so many people are upset about this, this particular trailer? Um, because like I told you earlier, you know, we've seen it so much, we, you know, and it's kind of like rehashing stuff and showing us the same stuff again. And we're like, okay, we've seen this a thousand times. Show us something new, you know. I mean, yeah, it's it's a trauma, but you know, like 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 Vanessa said, I mean, there's a lot of stuff on TV that's a trauma to the black, you know, a black person. Um, you know, hell, sometimes we share these videos of terrible things online of, of people getting shot and killed and stuff like that. We send that all day long around and shit. So we're guilty of it too. Of, of, of perpetuating some of that BS, you know, putting, showing people getting hurt, killed and stuff. And then now once the, I mean, I, I know this is your next, kind of your next question, but I think like the white man doing it, but now it's black people putting this movie out. So, you know, it's just us showing up, you know, our, our heavy side. And let's be right. honest. I mean, some people love to see a, a car wreck. You know what I'm saying? You know, you driving down the street and you people, long line of people in, in the traffic and you're like, man, come on, move on, move back up that, that wreck. As soon as you get to the wreck, you stop and you slow down, you look too. <laughs> Right. Part of, you know, part of what people are. We want to see a train wreck. Yeah. So, so train wreck it is. And you 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 do lead me to my next question. Do you think being that it is a black filmmaker, somebody that, you know, is of our community, there, you know, he created this, do you think that should change the reaction in the criticism that that this uh trailer is getting? I'll start with you, Capone. No, I, I don't I don't care who wrote it. I mean, whatever is put out there, it's put out there. And I think I think that I'm going to just say it. Go on, say it. Black women are strong. And there's no way in the hell that a Karen can live next to a black woman and one is sitting crying, knowing what she went through to get that type of house. Mm. Oh, uh, I, I want to move. No. That right there just pissed me off. And I think they need to show, if you're going to show how the real white people are, show how the real black people are. Yeah. Joe, the husband, trying to pull the wife back in the house from going to kick Karen ass across the street. That's what I feel that it is. We ain't seen the movie yet. Come on. Nah, no. but I started crying. Did it, did it change for you when you realized it was a black filmmaker, Vanessa? I did have, it add anything different for you? No. Um, well, I, I, I honestly, maybe I would have felt different if it was a white filmmaker. I don't know. I didn't really analyze my thoughts on that. It made everything else. Right, that's what I was about to say. So, right, I, was, I didn't really analyze my thoughts on that. I think, um, 
I don't know why I'm not taking this one as seriously because I'm really about this conversation. And I, for one, have uh, uh, gone offline a lot of times. I will turn my TV off. I really don't care for I'll stop listening to NPR. I am not for the black drama, but somehow this wasn't. But can I ask you a question? So when you see Karen get smacked on the Well, video, that's what I was about to say. It might. It might be a part of my healing. No, I'm just playing. I'm joking. I mean, say it like that. But yeah, that's what I was saying in the beginning that sometimes it's good to see the the the, the real villain. Like we always the menace to society. Well, now there's a new menace to society. It's Karen and her brother. That's the police officer. You know, instead right. of the normal, it's the black folks. You know, doing something to mm -hmm. wreck the community or whatever. So sure. I'm gonna give Karen a moment to get her ass whooped. Like how we root when the villain in the mood, like, oh, kick Jason ass, you know, all like that. Like, you know, maybe I need a little of that. Yeah. And because I I'm not gonna do it, I'm not for violence physically as Capone keeps saying about us. <laughs> Karen came to my house last weekend about how loud we was um, wow. in my brand new house. You know what I mean? And I really wasn't that get your ass away from here type. I actually was like, I feel you. And for me, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. I don't have to argue with you, Karen. I, do, do what you're going to do. I didn't argue with Karen. I just let her say what she was going to say, and we kept doing what we were doing. You right. know what I mean? Or whatever. So I think that showing different depictions is fine. I guess I lost my point. Shit, no, well, I think I had what, it earlier. The, the, reason why I, the reason why I asked that question is because a lot of people were, you know, taken to Twitter saying like, oh, well, you know, here's another film that white people are making. And a lot of people don't understand that it's actually a black filmmaker. So that's what makes me ask, like, you know, if it was a black filmmaker, do you think people would react differently? Because most people are reacting in a sense of like, Here's another white man creating a film about black trauma and he's, you know, gaining off of it. So that's, you know, I think they were monetizing talking about also, of it. I'll say the quality. Well, of the well, film. I don't believe, I don't, they, yeah, I'm not saying you're wrong, but I don't believe black people are watching this movie thinking a white man put it out. Because like you said, they thought it was a Jordan Peele movie. Jordan Peele is black. I just think they're tired of this. You know, this thing here is clownish. It's, it, it's, it's, it's so many stereotypical things you put into a movie. It's like when they put the movies together, they put so many... Uh, Instagram and, and, and rappers and shit in a movie. It's like too many of them. Like, it's just too much. It don't make sense. It's like, all right, what's, what's happening here? This is not cohesiveness. So I get it. They're trying to shock us by showing us she pushes the trash can over. Then there's a Klansman. And then there's a, 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 a white woman who ain't, a sister who ain't gonna fight. And then the guy goes in jail and police put brutality. It's like so much that I think we're gonna lose it when you're just trying to make it, you're trying to make a point of what? What's the point? Let me ask you this in Pierre. Do you, do you believe that Hollywood movies can change real issues? Do you think that like Hollywood movies have no like no impact on things that we see that are handled or bring awareness to things that we experience? Do you not feel like Hollywood movies have that effect? No, no. You remember a movie called Boys in the Hood and Men's Society? Negroes been shooting each other ever since and gang banging been going on since colors and the shit ain't stopped. You know, look like anybody's you don't see nobody coming the hell down because of a movie. You know what I'm saying? It'll just show people what, what happens in the hood or happens in situations, yes. It's going to take you as a parent to stop that situation and keep your kids behind in the house. You know what I'm saying? That's what's going to keep. But letting them kids hang out and do that and join the gangs and fathers not being there for their kids and sons, that's the problem. It ain't no damn movies. Vanessa, what's your, what's your I, I think I don't know if we're agreeing or not. I just, <laughs> I, I, it's not a documentary. They didn't say Karen the documentary. You know right. what I'm saying? It's right. meant for some form of entertainment. You know what I'm saying? We watch Django. You know what I'm saying? That right. was a form of it had pieces of black trauma. You know what I'm saying? But at least we got to go, yeah, Django, whoop is that? You know what I'm saying? That kind of stuff. So it's not a documentary. It's not, you know, everything isn't meant to uh, uh, deeply make me think. And if it were, I wouldn't want to watch every time I got to get deep into my thoughts and get into the books right. and, and whatnot. It's called entertainment for a reason. The question is, are you entertained by this type of trauma? And, 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 and whatever it is, it's like here on this sick earth, we are, you know what I'm saying? Again, we've said that there's plenty of things that are traumatizing that we watch, you right. know what I'm saying? There's a power, I power. I think, come again, power. power. The, the show Power. No, I, 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 I'm, I'm agreeing with Vanessa. Like, some people watch like a TV show called Power. We like that, that's black trauma. Come on now. I, I was gonna I say mean, that, and, and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna come to you, Capone. I think you brought up a good point about like this not being a documentary. However, I do feel like some movies can bring some type of awareness because yes. when you look at like the documentary, the thir uh, 13th, they, they, yes. ca they came out with the movie when they see us. So yes. even though it's, it's not a documentary, like you said, it's like they created a documentary for that where it's like, let me give and you the information the space to impact, for me right. to really like this was a real story about five young men. I really need to feel the impact of this. There is nothing to smile about. There is no this is serious business. Right. And if you weren't there, here it is. This is a more of a caricature, exaggerated right. 
sense of something that is still serious, right. but it was their take on it. And right. there are many takes to film and all that. That's what creativity is about. That's seeing yep. it through your lens is about. Watch it or don't. We don't even know what the hell happened. We ain't seen it yet. We just and saw the trailer. You know what I'm saying? I, I want to come to you. Do you think Hollywood movies can solve real issues or have an impact on real issues? Of course it can have an impact. Have you ever seen a karate picture that didn't come out with somebody thought they didn't know karate? <laughs> oh, <I take> that. <laughs> See, Me people too. thought they, they, they thought they knew karate. Yeah. You thought you knew every move, of course. Yeah. It's, it's a mind thing. So, so, <laughs> so let me I ask you. I went this. out kicking niggas, man. <laughs> immediately, immediately. Dude, like, so after watching this, I'm, and I'm gonna ask each one of y'all, after watching this trailer and after having this conversation, and I'll start with you, Pierre, are you gonna go see this film and at least give it a chance to see what happens? That's a negative. No, you know what? You know what? You know what? I will now. I just thought about it. Because it's a black man that put it together. I'm gonna support him. I'm gonna support his effort. I'm, I have sense enough to know what it is. Now, if I don't have to get in and get emotionally toe up in the movie and cry and walk out all depressed and shit, I, I know what it is, okay? I've seen Karen's or Neff online. So I can watch and support this black man. Um, hopefully they don't, they don't continue to make a lot more of these kind of movies to me, you know, kind of whatever, but I will support it because there are not a lot of black movies being, you know, made. Well, it's not, wait, watching BET? Right. Come on, BET, right? Yeah, it's going to be on BET. All right, well, I'll hit it, then I'll cook me some lasagna or something. I'll hit, I'll hit the, and then go, <laughs> watch, say, go put it kitchen, on while you, you, know? you making the lasagna. Come on, I'll come to you next. Are you going to, are you going to watch the film? Uh, Pierre convinced me to watch it because, uh, the black... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I wasn't even gonna pay to no mind if it come on and it's gonna come on 3,000 times right so you might just see it anyway so uh and, and, and I, I'm kind of what Capone kind of said I wasn't I wasn't I wasn't upset I wasn't anything it was just another movie that passed through the thing and like you say it's on BT I'm sure I'm gonna see it you right. know what I mean if nothing if by Pat I've seen a whole movie you know just by you know what I mean you know what I mean how BT they'll, they'll play it for you now right. they're gonna make sure you see it so, you know, I'm sure I'm going to see some scenes from it, I, you know. Do you think being that, that he is a black man, that's a, a filmmaker, that's pushing this, that some for some people it is triggering and it does bother some people, that he should get a pass because he is a black man? Nobody gets a pass. No, I'm sorry. Um, you know, I don't know. Again, it wasn't that. I, don't, I guess he is getting a pass. I'll give him a pass. You'll give him a pass? What you think? Uh, pass for what? That's what a I kind of... So, because a lot of people just feel like, at, like they're t if we're tired of seeing black trauma being pushed, then it, it just needs to. People just want to just pause it for a second. Well, we ain't like, gonna stop on him, trauma. right? I said, well, stop on him. Let's stop on the next one. Are we gonna stop power? Are we gonna stop power and power next generation? Are we stopping that? That's black trauma. Let's stop acting like we ain't. No, I'm trying to get trauma. on power oh, this no, year. What's wrong with us? What's what talking here? about stopping? Don't no, stop you, it till the finish. Pierre, you bring up a great point because the comments that I was seeing, you know, I was seeing was, you know, oh, we want to see more, more black people happy. We want to see more movies with black people. But when you look at shows that are pushing this black happiness, they get, they're not, nobody's watching. Jamie Foxx show recently just got nah, after, the, after the first. But I'm just saying, but people are like, it's hacky. <laughs> Some black people liked it. It was happy and, and it was a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> but it, but it ended up, but, but you it's can't, a, you can't use that. People watching a, the Upshaws, they happy. It's a sense of there like, you, you know, it's just a, a matter of like, where are we going like to be satisfied? That. Because a lot of right. people are trying to push like happy black families, happy black this, but then like, we don't watch it a lot or as much as we do with other films. That's you disagree? another conversation because sometimes we're not watching it because of the way that it was put together. Program. And we, it might be that I don't particularly like this show. It's not that I want to see happy black people. I ain't like the way y'all put these happy black folks together. It, it's not cohesive. So. Good Times wasn't a happy show. Or they were it? black people in poverty, but they were the funny. Cosby was. Cosby yeah, was. Cosby was. Yeah, Cosby was real happy. Cosby watched that a lot. Yeah, like, but good, nobody watched watch shows like years, Good Time. Years, but recently, can you can you think of like a show now that's as big right. as that or on on trajectory to be as big as the Cosby's? Because I, I, I agree. I wish we had more. Like, I would love to see Cosby's, but can you name a show? That is as popular no. as the Cosby's. I don't think they can't go as popular, but the shows that keep getting renewed. Can I say that? Can I go for that? Well, why we can't come up with a new one? What? There's I, people with different jobs it, now. I mean, right. Like there aren't any. And that's, no, I'm saying I, no. I'm saying that they people. are, but like, what? What do you? See, I like, like Bob forefront? Hart's Abishola. I like. Here's the problem. Go ahead. Times, have cha times have changed. You know, we weren't exposed to so much negativity back in the '80s uh, compared to now with social media. 
So now we know all this negative stuff and all this heavy stuff that we go through as a black family, and we're getting used to it. We're getting desensitized. So more of the shows are going to be a little more heavier than they were before because now we can believe what we see. Before, you might not have believed all the stuff you saw because you weren't seeing it much more. Yes, if you're in the hood, you've seen this shit. We're talking about who ain't in the hood didn't see the stuff. You know what I'm saying? So that's why stuff like Cosby was doing so well. That's why um, there was the Black Colleges. Black uh, is doing, world doing good. Doing so, well. so all those other shows, but now it's more heavy. People don't want to see so much laughter and, and happiness and just joy and just fun. Even shows that are supposed to be family oriented, going through heavy, heavy situations. You know what I'm saying? Racism and stuff. What's that one? Um, Blackish. They going through racism all the time, working on it. So it is, you know, they got, they got heavy situations. So. This is just the trailer. I think we kept saying over and over, we haven't seen the full movie. So for people to just cancel it and not give it a chance, I do say like, I hope people do at least give it some type of chance to see what happens. And then let's judge it off that because it is a black filmmaker. We always say we want black people on the back end. Here's somebody black that's pushing something. Let's at least Lots try to support Lots of black it. actors, Jasmine Burke, Corey Hardick. There we Watch. go. Well, you know, we'll, we'll hopefully see A white see man exactly. funded it. <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> Don't be coming out with face stuff. I appreciate y'all's input. I do think it's important that we have these conversations because sometimes we criticize things and knock it out the, the park before it's even, you know, fully out there. So I wish them the best. Um, Coke Daniels, thank you for putting it out and we're looking forward to seeing it. Um, you heard from us now. We want to hear from you in the comments below. What are your thoughts on the Karen trailer? For Comedy Hype News Show, I'm Symphony Thompson. Don't forget to put it in the comments. Put it in the comments. Never ran it on it. Protect black culture.